Hello and welcome to the Budget Timekeeper. So today I wanted to share my initial thoughts of owning an HMT after about a week or so. Uh, so these are the three watches I have bought. I did a lot of research and I ended up buying these watches. This one I've had for a little over a week, like a day over a week. This one I've had for about three, four days and this one just arrived yesterday. So I just wanted to give you my first impression, first thoughts of using a mechanical watch, what I like, what I dislike and things like that. So, yeah, so let's start with this one because this is the latest one. Now, this is the HMT Sona and I paid 1450 for this, including shipping and everything. So, for this price range, I was not expecting an original piece because in looking through all of this, I've realized there's just far too many aftermarket uh, variations to these watches. And so I thought, let's just put a limit on how much I'm going to spend initially so that even if I do end up with the aftermarket watch, um, I'm not too worried as long as it has the movement inside and it works well and looks good. So this is one of those. I'm pretty sure this is uh, an aftermarket dial here because if you see the um, logo here, the HMT and the Sona thing, let's see if I can get in closer. It, you can see it's sort of like a sticker that is stuck on the dial. Same for the Parashaw 17 Jewels. On the originals, what I've seen is it's sort of written directly onto the pattern. So it looks a little messy, but um, it's sort of directly on it. Now, I have also seen a few on the website which have a similar look, like a sticker thing. But this parachute thing, this I think is more of a dead giveaway that this is an aftermarket one, which again, I was expecting for this lower price. I wanted to get a feel of the watches and see which are the ones I like, which are good looking ones. And if I do end up liking uh, something, then I'll try and find for an original piece. And I'm absolutely in love with this one. The HMT Sona, beautiful, elegant dress watch. There is a lot of hype for the Pilot, HMT Pilot and HMT Janta and I've not seen as much for this one but I think this is better in my opinion like I like this much more than the other two the Janta is very similar I mean all three of them are similar um, I like the Pilot especially the new Pilots with the where they have 12, 3, 6 and 9 um, I like that one uh, the Janta is a bit too plain for my liking it is probably the most popular model from the HMT range but um, I like this one definitely this I've seen three variations for this there's this one here with the gold dial there's one with the white dial and one with the black dial I think the gold one is my favorite so far so yeah if by the way if you are interested in finding out how and where I got these watches I've made a full sort of accompanying video uh, have a look at that so I'll briefly just talk about the watches and how I feel about them. Yeah, you'll get all the details of how to buy them in the other video. I'll link it here as well. But it's just the previous one before this. So, yeah, so I bought this from Jordan Watches, who sells uh, vintage watches, used watches. And, yeah, like I said, with the price, I can't really complain. Now, I did notice this one little thing here. See, the crown sort of sticks out a little bit. Doesn't go all the way in. So I got in touch with them and said that this is an issue and they said use it for a bit if there is a issue with the timekeeping with the winding and stuff like that then just send it back we'll be happy to replace it or repair it so yeah i'm very satisfied with the uh, service i'm getting there and i'll probably use them in the future for other things but yeah like i said this sona here i am in love with this design this look the sizing okay let's just have a look at the sizing first because this is the classically proportioned watch it's not a big watch but it suits me i'm happy i don't also really care about sizing too much i wear what i like so we see here with the crown should be getting about 36 with the crown without the crown we are getting about 30 hang on it should be looking at. let's do it this way so 35 without the crown it should be a little more i feel with the crown 
especially since it's sticking out so much. Yeah, 38 with the crown. 38 with the crown, 35 just the case, which is again very classically proportioned. Let's look at the lug to lug here. About 43 lug to lug. So again, good proportions. Um, by the way, this watch check today I'm wearing the Casio FTP Enticer B004, I think. Another very beautiful watch. Reminds me a lot of the Panerai watches. And this again, like the modern dress watch, you could say about 39, 40 millimeter. And the 10 millimeter case thickness and stuff like that. 46 lug to lug. So slightly bigger than this. Well, quite a bit bigger if you think about it. But yeah, the, this is what the modern dress watch looks like these days. So yeah, so this is the HMT Sona. We're very happy. I also like this strap here. So um, like I said, I spent about 1400 and based on my research, what I'm seeing online for a new piece, um, well, new piece from HMT is 10,000. And I'm not going to spend 10,000 because uh, that is just ludicrous. So a good condition, a new old stock piece, I would say probably around four to 5,000 which again is a little more than I would like to spend right now. But since I like this one so much, I'll be keeping an eye out. And if I do find one in very good condition, like brand new, barely worn, like confirmed original, then I may consider it. Generally, what I've seen is with the HMT watches, there are a lot of aftermarket watches, different uh, ranges. Basically, some will have just the movement is original and then the rest of it is aftermarket. Some will have the movement in the case original, the dial and hands will be aftermarket and a lot of things. Minimum you'll be getting the movement. Movement is always original because there is nothing else cheaper. So unless they put a parts in and try to fool you, um, you will always get the movement. Now how good that movement is, that will depend on the seller and if they're trying to be dodgy, but most cases uh, they will service it, they're easily available. So movement is the least uh, issue, I guess, it's the smallest issue. Plus everybody can more or less service it, I guess. So yeah, so that is the Sona. I'll go over the next watch. This I got from the Facebook seller, uh, Facebook collector, I should say, is not really a seller. He had an extra one, so he wanted to sell one. This is, I'm pretty sure, for the original. Uh, looks very good too. And again, a very beautiful classic looking watch. It has that uh, Tissot PRX style look to it a little bit. Um, it's obviously not got an integrated bracelet, but very, very beautiful watch. Again, classically proportioned, a little on the smaller side compared to modern watches, but very good. Now the seller was so honest, he mentioned a small mark on the glass. And at first, at first glance, you might not even notice it, but if you look closely, on the one o'clock you'll see a very minor mark and this is perfectly fine i'm okay with this again i spent very little money 1200 on this one so can't really complain let's have a look at the size again just wanted to share my thoughts of wearing and owning these uh, mechanical watches for a week uh, 36.6 for the thing if we look at this has got the sort of cushion style shape 32 just for the dial is only 32 without the crown here we might get a little more about 34 with the with the crown without the crown i mean and just the case um luck to luck i'm guessing 40 probably 42 40 so yeah, very classically proportioned on the smaller side, perhaps. And of course, I've already covered this one, the Kohinoor, in more detail. This one, I'm really, really in love with this watch. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Like, I'm in love with all these. There's the charm and the romance of the old hand wind stuff. So you get up in the morning, you wind your watch, you go to work, you come back, put it on the bedside table or whatever. You wake up in the morning, do it again. So that is like the charm of these watches. And if, if we are honest about it, mechanical watches, you can't really get them any cheaper. Automatics and stuff, they are a little more expensive. And you don't really have any other brands making these hand wind watches anymore because obviously they can put a rotor at the back and make it an automatic. 
so with this being a oh sorry, let me also check the thickness because these are very slim watches this is a very slim watch this is a let's see here and it's a domed crystal as well otherwise it would be even a slimmer 9.7 so i have to be careful because this is uh, acrylic and can get scratched even with the calipers now this one actually has a mineral glass uh, this one is again a domed acrylic very slim again so yeah um i like the charm and the romance of these hand wind watches of course there is the whole story with hmt which we have not even scratched the india's first watch and all of that these watches have been in production for a long time they have made over a hundred million of these so yeah there's a lot of history a lot of story great story you could say to this uh, sadly not what it used to be now they don't really make mechanicals they still have some stock left over which they are selling at ridiculous prices but yeah um, there is still if you're an indian there is a strong connection here and i would suggest if you are into watches to get at least one of these again you don't have to spend much like total how much did i spend i spent 27 50 on this one i spent 13 30 on this one including shipping and i spent 14 50 on this one including shipping and they also gave me a free strap extra strap like a black leather strap so all of this combined what are we looking at 27 and a half 2750 sorry and 30 1330 so that's a little over 4000 and so about five and a half thousand roughly give or take three watches for five and a half i think that is excellent you might get one good uh, casio course for this one i mean entry level course are cheaper but like an edifice range is about five thousand on discount and similarly for other brands fossil and stuff you probably get a one watch for five thousand so yeah um after a week initial first week of uh, wearing and using these i'm in love i'll be getting some more like i said i really really love this one so i'll be keeping an eye out for an original one of these again i don't want to spend too much but i would say a good new old stock hopefully i can get for under five um so what i did was initially i said i'll not go over three thousand that was my target this was the best I could find for under 3000. Then I said, okay, I need one original watch. So I got this one. I was okay with the used one and I'm very happy. I saw another model called the HMT Uttam. Now Uttam, the one I had seen was so sadly sold out when I got in touch with the seller. So I looked for similar designs and this Moria was very similar in look to the Uttam. So I decided to get this one. And then Sona is again in the same sort of style range as the Janta and the Pilot. And there are a few other like the Karna and all those watches. They are sort of similar. So I wanted to get one of these designs. So I ended up with the Sona and I think, again, personal opinion, but I think this is better looking to me than the Pilot or the uh, Janta. Janta, um, again, strangely enough i'm not a fan i do like the art deco one with the lines and stuff that one looks nice but not as good as this one so yeah so i'll definitely be keeping an eye out for a good one of these um, also for like it could be useful for gifting purposes um and yeah any more these nicely polished i guess new looking stainless steel um chains these are also not bad these bracelets they are the folded ones, but I found them to be comfortable mostly because you can slide them, slide this and adjust it perfectly so they don't move around on your wrist too much. And for your arm, I have a lot of arm hair, so I have to get it just right. And so far in like a week of wearing these two watches, I've mostly worn these two for the last full week. And yeah, I have not had any hair pulling issues, like minor, but nothing to sort of put me off. Plus this one has this strap. So this will be even more comfortable. You can, you don't have to wear this. And yeah, I've been looking for other options for straps as well. Um, but these do look good and they match the overall look very well. So it just feels a lot more premium um, on your wrist than uh, they are worth. Basically, they're just under 3000, but they look a lot more. So yeah, there are a lot of models, um, a lot of designs and quite a few sellers online. 
again, if I give you a rough idea, around one and a half thousand to up to three thousand, you can get a aftermarket watch and used originals about in that range. Over three thousand, you are trying to go for new old stock, which is basically a brand new watch that was never sold sitting in a box somewhere. Could be from twenty years ago, but it could be good condition. So yeah, so that is what I think is what people should target instead of going for the brand new one for 10,000 from HMT directly, because that might be a disappointment. If you see 10,000, you can get very good quality watches for 10,000. So at what 10,000, no, maybe the nostalgia and the brand could sway you, but I feel like 10,000 is too much up to 5,000 for a very good condition. I can sort of see the logic of that and maybe a little more for exceptional pieces or something. But yeah, 1,500 to 3,000 for an aftermarket one, uh, custom one, if you will, uh, used one and over three to about four and a half, 5,000 for a new old stock. If I see, say, let's say something really good, brand new condition, new old stock, 4,500, I may consider it. But if I see an aftermarket one, even a good one, um, I think more than 3000 is not worth it. Because um, on these groups, I have seen a few people who make custom watches and some of them are very, very good. Like you can pick the dial you want. You can choose whether you want a sort of transparent see-through case back, display case back as they say exhibition, that's the word. Exhibition case back so you can see the movement, you can pick a strap for yourself. So I'll be trying to get one of those. I've seen um, the Kohinoor and the Janta getting a lot of modifications like that. So I do want, I do like that uh, project side of things where you pick a dial that you like, you pick the case back and the bracelet or the strap. You could go for a mesh one. You could go for like a nice expensive leather strap or something and just um, create the look that you want. So I'll try and get one of those. They're not that expensive. In fact, uh, one of my subscribers I've been chatting to a lot, he has ordered one of those. So I may share some of his pictures if he shares them with me, pictures and videos just to give you an idea. And some of them look good. The quality, the workmanship is excellent. So, and I'm talking less than 2000 for like a new custom watch, uh, let's say a Kohino, for example, comfortably under 2000. So I would like to try one of those and just have fun with some of these watches. And then also keep a lookout for any interesting looking uh, new old stock or perhaps good condition used watches. So for example, this is new old stock. Again, originality, I can't be 100% certain. This one I feel I'm more confident, but this was like technically used, but in very good condition. And this is a aftermarket watch, also in slightly used condition. And yeah, I'm very happy with all three of them. Again, this, this one, I do want an original one at some point, but I'm not willing to go um, beyond a certain amount, four to 5,000 perhaps. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm, my first experience with HMT has been very satisfying. I wanted to start with the low, small target, small amount, so as not to get disappointed. Because this happens with uh, a lot of things in life where you get hyped and excited, you spend way too much and then, uh, the experience is not satisfying at all. So that is not the case here. I This has fully lived up to the hype that I had in my head. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with what we have here. So yeah, those are some of my initial thoughts after um, wearing these watches, mostly this one for about a week. And I like the look, I like the story behind the HMT brand. The movement is again, very romantic to me the charm of the winding and stuff like that. Even the bracelets have been uh, surprisingly good because normally when I get a Casio like this, first thing I do is I take off the bracelet, the metal bracelet and put it in storage. But this one actually I would say is better than the Casio bracelets. Um, so yeah. Anyway, hope this was uh, useful. If you have any questions, feel free. I'll try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. I did spend an insane amount of time over the last month and a half researching and trying to learn more about these watches because I had no previous experience with HMT. Nobody in my family ever owned an HMT as far as I'm aware, mostly because most of my family was abroad. 
Uh, my father lived abroad. I lived abroad. I've only come back to India in the last six years or so. So, yeah, for me, this is special. I am really in love with these watches. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.